offer a comprehensive range of products and services that includes commercial banking, international banking, investment banking, Islamic banking, offshore banking, and many more. Generally, my bank nature of business is banking and financing. They connect those in need of funds with, with those who have an excess of funds. Maybank lend money to borrowers in a variety of ways depending on how the money supply and is defined and the nature of the deposit is hold. For example, Maybank borrows short and lend long. That means that the majority of their assets are not very liquid which is easily converted to cash. Maybank also provides services such as accepting deposit making business loan and offering basic investment product and deals with deposit and loan from corporation or large businesses as opposed to individual member of the public retail banking and their vision is advising asia's ambition with you while their mission they want to humanize financing service by Providing the people with convenient access to financing, having a terms and pricing, advising customers based on their needs, and lastly being at the heart of community. Commerce International Merchant Bankers and Deal Bank Berhad provide commercial banking and related financing services to individuals, corporate and businesses in Malaysia and inter internationally. The company operates through commerce banking, commercial banking, wholesale banking, and investment segment. The consumer banking segment offers everyday banking solutions covering conventional and Islamic financial products and services such as residential and non-residential property and secure and unsecure personal financing and many more. Their vision is to be the leading ASEAN company while their mission is to provide Islamic universal banking service as a high-performing, internationalized and integrated company located in ASEAN and key markets beyond and to, to champion the acceleration of ASEAN integration and the regions linked to the rest of the world. This is the ticket symbol for Malay and CIMB. I'm Farah Fosa. Now let's move on. Now let's move on to the next part, which is market capitalization for a food company. So for the market capitalization for the Maybank is 100.723 billion ringgit. Next, the market capitalization in 2018 for CIMB is 51.555 billion ringgit. For this company, the market capitalization on the observation date, which is 30 of May 2019 until 50 of May 2019, shows an increase as well. Continue to the next day, which is 60 of May 2019 and 70 of May 2019, shows the decrease growth. Without further ado, we are going to review the daily performance for both companies. Alright, let's move on. On 13 May 2019, at 4.30 pm, the quoted price of the stock price for Maybank is 8 ringgit and 98 cents, while for the CIMB Bank is 5 ringgit and 12 cents. From the formula, the percentage change that we can see for the Maybank stock price compared to the next day, which is 14 May 2019, is remain unchanged. While for the CIMB Bank, there is some increment, which is up to 0 0.98 percent. On 14 of May, the quoted price of Maybank at 4:30 p.m. was 8.98, while CIMB quoted price was 5.17. Maybank stock price compared with the next day at 15th of May show positive growth which is 0.45% while CIMB stock price show negative growth which is depreciation by negative 
0.58%. On 15th of May 2019, at 4.30pm, the stock price of Maven is RM9.20, while for CIMB is RM5.14. The percentage change of the Maven stock price compared with the next day on 16 May 2019 is remain unchanged with the price just the same for both days. Continue to 16th of May 2019, the quarter price for Maven is 9.020 ringgit and for CIMB is 5.140. It shows that there is negative growth on the percentage change on Maybank, stock price which is negative 0.11%, which is depreciation compared to previous day. While for CIMB, the percentage for the stock price is 0.39%, which is positive good compared to 50 of May 2019. Meanwhile, for the closing price, on 13 May 2019, for the main bank is stay at 8 ringgit and 98 cents, while for the CIMB bank is increasing to 5 ringgit and 14 cents. From the formula, the percentage change for the main bank stock price compared to the next day, which is 14 May 2019, is negative 0.22%, which means the main bank stock price was depreciated a little bit. During the second day for the week, while the percentage change for CIMB stock price is 0.39%, which means the CIMB stock price show the increase, increasing or appreciated. On 14th of May 2019, the closing price for May Bank is 8.96, while for CIMB is increasing to 5.16. The stock price of May Bank show positive growth of 0.56% while CIMB stock price show negative growth by negative 0.558%. This shows that Maybank stock price appreciates while CIMB stock price depreciates. On 15th of May 2019, the closing price is 9 ringgit 10 cent while CIMB stock price is 5 ringgit 13 cent. The stock price of Maven decreased from yesterday by negative 0.55%, whereas the MP stock price remains the same. The closing price for both days show the same data, which is RM5 ringgit 13 cent. Continue to 60 of May 2019. The closing price for Maybank is 8.960, while for CIMB is 5.130 ringgit. The stock price for Maybank and CIMB shows a positive growth, which is for Maybank is 0.45%, and for CIMB shows 0.58%. This means that the stock price for Maybank and CIMB shows that it's appreciate for the penny. Hi, I'm Nani Gomez. We continue to present change to the year today and the closing value at the start of the year. The prices for both companies stock for ranging at 5 ringgit 16 cent to 5 ringgit 68 cent for Maybank and 9 ringgit 63 cent to 10 ringgit 16 cent for CIMB. Maybank's return reported decrease due to impairment losses on loans, advances, financing, and other debts. While well, for CIMB, this trend is due to lower operating income and increase in operating expenses. Nonetheless, this occurrence is believed to be a short-term loss to both companies. When the stock prices goes down, the value of the portfolio decreases. Investors are advised to hold their stocks as long as there is no news that the companies is decline, investors may wish to use these short-term declines to add to their stock investment, posi investment position by taking advantage of cheap stock prices. Investors need to avoid from selling stocks during a market downturn as this will compute a big comeback. I'm Mia Gonzalez.
Moving on to the Maybank stock price over the last two years. Maybank recorded the stock price in 2018 by 9.50 compared to 2017 by 9.80. Maybank share price performance for the first quarter of 2017 began on strong note. The gain in the second quarter continued by increase of 7.96% in the share price against the rising in the FBM KLCI and BM Finance Index. This is mainly attributed by foreign fund inflow into Malaysian equities. In the third quarter, Maybank share price reduced to 1.04% against the decline seen in the BM Finance Index. This is due to concerns over the U.S.-North Korea geopol geopolitical tension dampen general investor sentiment. Maybank share price closed 2017 at 9.80. Meanwhile, in the year of 2018, Maybank share price recorded in the first quarter of 2018 by 10.60, a rise of 8.16%. This is due to stable ringgit against US dollar. But in the second quarter, Maybank share price dropped to 9 ringgit due to the spring takeover. Maybank share price in 2018 closed at 9 ringgit at the same. The reduce in Maybank share price in 2018 compared to 2017 was not only due to the spring takeover, but it also due to Malaysia potential exclusion from the World Government Bond Index. Let's move on to the stock price of CMB over the last two years. I'm Nora Senros. 2017 was a stellar year for the group share price performance with a 51.2% appreciation over the 12 month period, ending the year at 6 ringgit 54 cent compared to the adjusted opening price of 4 ringgit 32 cent. With the FBMKLCI rising by 9.4%, the stock outperformed the benchmark index by a very respected 41.8% 40, in 2017. This strong performance emanated from a combination of improved operational fundamentals and wine results, positive microeconomics drivers and a return of foreign fund flows over the year. Investors who are heartened by the progress made toward achieving the T18 targets with a steady top line growth supplemented by strict cost controls, steady capital accumulation and evident turnaround in the fortunes of CMB Niagara and CMB Thai. After a strong performance in 2017 and with the challenging capital market conditions in 2018, the group's share price depreciated by 9.3% over the past year, closing at 5 ringgit 71 cent at the last trading day of 2018 compared to the adjusted and 2017 price of 6.30 cent ringgit. The stock underperformed the FBM KLCI by 3.4% as the benchmark index declined by 5.9% through the, through the year. The weaker performance was largely attributed to macro and market related developments which curbed sentiment on the stock particularly after GE14. Amidst various speculations surrounding the groups and GLCs in general. Based on the Star Online on 25 September 2019, one of the CMB stock price depreciate is because of the CMB announced that uh, its chairman Datuk Seri Nazir Tun Razak will step down from this post and all other positions within the groups by 31 December 2018. On the graph below show that the bank's shares uh, drastically fell on the second quarter in 2018. The article states that the bank fell 4 cents or 
0.66% to 5.99 cents ringgit with over 2.1 million shares.